Okay, so let's have a chat about proof of work and proof of stake. So mining, as uh, I just uh, spoke about, is what's called proof of work. So you have all of these miners around the world mining to mining the blocks and thereby validating and verifying the, the, the blocks. Um, but the thing is, it's very energy intensive. So uh, last year, uh, Bitcoin made headlines because the Bitcoin mining uh, network was using more energy than the whole country of Nigeria uh, over the period of a year. But it's, it's going up. The global hash rate is going up because of this arms race I've, I've been talking about. Um, and it then passed Bulgaria, and now it use, uses more energy than the whole of Argentina, um, which is not good because apparently around 2020, 2022, uh, somewhere around that, uh, that apparently the Bitcoin uh, network will be using more energy than the whole country of Japan. And Japan is the third biggest economy on the planet. So um, as you can see, proof of work um, systems with cryptos is incredibly time in a uh, uh, sorry energy intensive it's I guess a massive uh, electricity and earth killer I guess um, which is why I personally believe that proof-of-work systems such as Bitcoin or I think Bitcoin will be the first and last of its kind um, because planet Earth simply cannot sustain another proof-of-work system scaled up to the degree of, of Bitcoin. So, yeah, there are plenty, plenty of other proof-of-work systems, uh, but I think it's going to die out. It's a bit of an archaic uh, way. Um, and the thing is, it's so energy-intensive by design. Uh, the whole Bitcoin network uh, blockchain is designed to be slow, so that way you can't have runaway uh, blocks uh, and then the, 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 the network will then split, etc. So it's designed to be slow. So um, the next iteration of um, proofing, I guess, is a thing called proof of stake. Not spelt like the, the food, it's S-T-A-K-E, uh, which hopefully Matty has put somewhere above me, around here. Um, so, yeah, proof of stake is basically way less energy intensive because there's no actual mining. So there's no expensive uh, hardware connected to the internet just ch churning through these cryptographic puzzles. Um, what, what happens is you basically, if you are a node, you basically own a whole bunch of coins or, crypt, uh, coins of, or, or tokens of, of a particular token or coin um, and you, you you hold it in a wallet and what that does is you basically as a node you verify and validate the the, the blocks uh, simply by uh, holding your your uh, by staking your coins in, in a wallet uh, and obviously or well, obviously and the longer you leave your coins in the wallet the it ha the, the age rating gets um, uh, higher so you have more of a weight and so you can basically mine or uh, help um, verify the blocks more. So the thing is, um, with proof of work, it's called mining, where uh, the block reward, you, the, yeah, you're, you're basically getting um, the crypto. With proof of stake, it's a thing called minting. So when you're staking your coins and you're helping validate the blocks, and there is a block reward, then uh, yeah, you're minting new coins. So that's basically the difference between proof of work, proof of stake. Proof of stake is is basically going to be the the, the standard from now on. Um, yes, it's very easy to set up a new crypto using proof of work, but again, it's just too time intensive, uh, time and energy intensive. So proof of stake is going to be the one moving forward. But it's not the only one. There's all sorts of different things. It's proof of time, proof of data, proof of storage, proof of um, th th there's going to be loads. Um, so yeah, hope, really quick one, but hopefully that makes sense. Um, and I guess a lot of you probably heard about Ethereum. Well, Ethereum was proof of work and it's now slowly transferring over to proof of stake. Um, and the thing, yeah, in fact, let's leave it there. I'm, I'm going to talk more about Ethereum and, and other stuff later. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit. Coin.